Welcome to Minimalism 101 and I'll be your teacher. My name is Sky. And that's that's a joke. I'm kidding. This is not a class. I'm not a teacher. I'm just a girl who just wants to share her thoughts about minimalism in case there's anybody who is interested. Any beginner, any non-beginner, whatever. So this video is all about minimalism basic minimalism minimalism for beginners what it means to me personally and i'll be sharing four tips that you should bear in mind if you want to start or if you're already in this lifestyle called minimalism so that's what this video is about so in case you're interested in that keep on watching so first thing is to understand what minimalism is so first of all for me minimalism is a mindset first and foremost it's a mindset that leads to a lifestyle that is centered around value style and flow value in terms of what things mean to you be it property be it people be it spaces whatever the value they add to your life if they bring happiness if they bring joy if they bring peace that's what it is so value is one key part of minimalism for me second part is style so depending on your personal style minimalism should fit what that is so if you're someone who for example you are more of a bubbly bright person your minimalism should look like that and fit into that lifestyle it should fit your personal style me i'm more on the simpler subdued laid back side therefore my minimalism life also mirrors that thirdly is flow so one good part about minimalism is that it brings flow and peace and order to your life it is done in your own way where there will be problem is when you're trying to copy what another person looks like say Jenny Monstad or Matt Avala and I look at them and I be like okay I want my life to be like I want my closet to be like that I want my uh, mm -mm. the entire point of minimalism like I said is a mindset that leads to a lifestyle so the mindset should be right and the lifestyle should be yours what will fit you the best that's what it is for me minimalism so it's not, it's not just about what you have or what you own it's about how you own those things why you own them how you use them how they make you feel what it does to you what it brings to your life and what it also brings to people around you also because again it's a lifestyle and a mindset and how you think and feel about things will affect how you relate to those things so minimalism is that kind of life a life that prioritizes value prioritizes style prioritizes flow over just gathering stuff say for example i mean a beauty and a style blogger so i love makeup and skincare and all of those good stuff so instead of asking oh what palette should i buy or what new lipstick should i buy you should look at what you do have currently is there space for it do you really need it do you just want it will it make you happy will it add value to your makeup stash will it add value to you is it i mean is it going to be flattering on your skin tone is it going to fit your lifestyle even take for example shoes it's not every shoe that will fit your lifestyle no matter how much you, so it's, it's not so minimalism is a kind of mindset that will allow you to admire beautiful things even if they don't fit into your lifestyle it will have you asking questions about how things fit into your life what value they bring to you as opposed to just what what to buy what to gather what to keep you understand second key is to ask yourself why why do you want to minimalist or why are you minimalist or why do you think you want to continue on this journey if for example i've always been kind of minimalist kind of for when I was very young, I just didn't know what it was. I didn't know what the term was. I just knew that chaos and excess wasn't my thing. It just made me anxious for some reason. So I think my anxiety led me to seek a simpler, more minimalist lifestyle. And then when I saw the term, like maybe some years ago on the internet, I was like, that's what it is. That is what I've been feeling. Oh, so it has a name. And then I now read more about it and you know here we are so you need to understand what your triggers are it could be time you just want to save more time you just want to manage your time more it could be health it could be money even so the thing about minimalism is that it kind of helps or promotes more mindful living more mindful spending more mindful gathering of things so in case money is your trigger you need to understand what those are so because it's important to know your whys so that anytime in your journey if you feel confused or if you feel whatever you go back to your whys understand why you started on this journey and to just help you stay in focus third is to take stock analyze and declutter so taking stock of what you currently have will give you a clear vision of what your life is taking stock here doesn't just mean your clothes or your shoes it also means books people even your friends your family the kind of job you do if you're a business person like i am how you spread your time what ventures you're pursuing so take stock of all of these things and analyze how they make you feel 
right if you watch any decluttering video for example or any minimalist um, living kind of video though one key major thing that's been promoted is for you to ask how does this make me feel what value is it adding to my life this is very very important because it will help you see exactly what should stay what should not stay what should go what should not go and you know what should you even bring into your life going forward so take stock analyze and then declutter anything that you've come to see from your analysis that is not serving you or not serving your lifestyle or not adding value to you or just doesn't make you happy so again this could include people even unfortunately so you need to take stock analyze and declutter what you don't need from your life that's the key 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 part the fourth and most important one and i call this most important because at the end of the day like i said this thing is a mindset and a lifestyle so you must own it you need to own it make it your own make it look like what you would want make it fit your particular life especially on the internet here you see so many people who are minimalist and then their lives and their even their style their spaces look a certain way so their spaces are a certain color even sparsely furnished pure white bare you know their clothes are of certain color they have very few clothes in grays and whites or blacks or whatever so you think as a beginner you might think this is what it should look like but i'm here to tell you that that's not what it is it should be how you want it to be if you've done your taking stock if you've done your analyzing and you've asked yourself why so eventually you find a system that works for you it should look like what you look like for example there's someone who my love books i know someone who is a writer who actually writes for a living and who generally loves books so even if she's a minimalist i don't expect her to chuck away or throw away all her books just because she wants a minimalist no if the books no matter how many they are 10 1000 whatever if the books add value to her life if the books are a part of her and what makes her happy then they stay so that's how you should think about things so if you think about things from a point of view of value and if you own it enough to create a life for yourself a life that you want that looks like what you envisage it to be or what your vision is doesn't matter if it looks like Jenny Monstad or Matavala or whoever find a way to make it yours to make it your own and it will just be easier like I said this is a journey I'm going to be sharing other tips in other videos when it comes to style or space or all of those things specifically about minimalism so stay tuned comment subscribe all of those things so that you know when I drop those videos that's a very short video I hope I'm able to introduce this entire concept of minimalism to you and I hope you enjoyed this video if you did let me know in the comment section if you have any questions if you have any thought processes if you're a minimalist yourself or you want to be or even know someone or you're just curious about the entire lifestyle let me know in the comment section I'll be responding there if you're not subscribed please do that please do that okay just hit that subscribe button down below and join my family I really really appreciate it thank you so much for watching I'm gonna see you in my next video bye bye